Now we all know Chris Paul as the hard nose, mid-range shooting, point god, formerly of the Thunder, formerly of the Rockets, formerly of the Clippers, formerly of the Hornets. Now he's on the Phoenix Suns and he's leading them to one of the best records in the Western Conference. And today I want to talk about how he uses his veteran leadership and his offensive prowess to be a basically an on-court coach for the Phoenix Suns. Okay, so this is the first play I wanted to discuss. The Miami Heat are shooting free throws up by three. Seven minutes left. This play shows how Chris Paul is as a point guard. Communication is key. So right here, he walks across, points at Jay Crowder. He said, who's your man? Who's on you? Jay Crowder tells him, Michael Bridges has Kendrick Nunn. He's talking to both of them. He tells him, yeah, Mikhail Bridges got Kendrick Nunn on him. He's, and then he asks him, he said, who do you have? He's like, yeah, him right here. He said, like, I got Duncan. He said, okay. So he points at him points at him right here he's like we're coming to you we're doing a play with you so as they come down the floor jay crowder signifies like he's gonna go screen from mikhail comes back two-man game or three-man game him deandre Aiden, chris paul trying to get jay crowder isolated with duncan robinson in a place where he can score so boom duncan robinson Goes up for Trevor Reza so he can get back onto CP3. And Bam Matabio is right there. But leaves Jay Crowder open. I feel like Chris Paul knew the tendencies of Duncan Robinson on screen. So he decided to take advantage of it. Gets Jay Crowder going with a head full of steam down into the paint. Basically open. Duncan Robinson is completely on him. It looks like Jimmy Butler is going to come help. So Duncan Robinson goes on to Devin Booker. Jimmy Butler doesn't go and help. Easy floater for Jay Crowder. Doesn't connect, but DeAndre Ayton gets it. This play right here simply shows Chris Paul's IQ. Finding out who's guarding who and taking advantage of the mismatch. Brilliant read by Chris Paul and great read by the rest of the team using the mismatch to their advantage. Now here's a play that shows Chris Paul's ability to run plays as a point guard and Monty Williams' intricate offense. So he gives him a hand signal right here. He says 4502. 4502. Now, when he brings the ball up the court, I'll show what he means. So Jimmy Butler shoots a free throw, makes it six point game. Chris Paul, he's telling everybody 4502, 4502. So when you come out the floor, Dario Sarge's number 0220. Cam Johnson. 2-3 together, 5, and Javon Carter, number 4. Basically, this play involves mostly them. So, as you go through the play, back screen, then Javon Carter comes across, then Dario Sarge comes up to the top, basically jumbling up the entire Heat defense. Right here, look, Cam Johnson sees Andre Iguodala looking. Everybody's looking at the ball handler right here. Cam Johnson uses perfect opportunity right here to cut. Beautiful pass, good take. Beautiful play call by Monty Williams and run to the best possible way they could have ran it. Chris Paul, everybody did perfect, perfect timing. Great cuts, great play, and they got a score out of it. Now here's a play where Chris Paul's leadership shows where he's talking to Devin Booker in a way where he can completely understand what he should have done and that he will do it in the future. So right here, Devin Booker, he has four fouls. Suns are about to sub him out. He's kind of he's kind of trying to score, but he's not trying to score. He, he missed a couple shots. He's kind of out of rhythm. So, boom. Dribbling the ball up the floor. And the Heat are planning to bring a double team, really. So, Chris Paul goes through. And he's like, okay, hit me, hit me. And Devin Booker's not trying to, you know... He's trying to he's trying to get it to Chris Paul, but it's there's no possible way that he could get it there. He can throw over here to Jay Crowder in the left corner, or he could throw it to Mikhail Bridges, but Chris Paul's is his only option right now, so he tries throwing it. Taken away. Bam out of bio, get a fast break. Kendrick Nunn miss. So now the Suns bring it up the floor. Devin Booker. Touch the lot DeAndre Aiden. Foul. Get free throws. This is where Chris Paul's leadership comes into play. He's talking. He starts talking to Devin Booker right here. He's like, "When you come with a double team, watch. He's gonna demonstrate. 
can see it in the background. It's like when he's being double team, I had nowhere to pass it. He's like, you could have did it behind the back pass real quick. Because Chris Paul, there's no one near Chris Paul. He could have easily got it. So if we go back and look at it. So right here is where Chris Paul is referring to. He throw the quick behind the back pass. And you can tell that Chris Paul's momentum is going to where it would be open right by where it says must stop bullying. So Dem Booker could have easily threw like a behind the back pass and got it to Chris Paul. But foul trouble probably went in on his mind. Him missing the last couple shots went in on his mind. Him trying to, you know, make a difference. But not make any mistakes at the same time he had a, he had a chance right here to throw it as well there's no one there he could have easily gotten it but i mean it's a learning opportunity i'm glad chris paul took the time to show him that hey there's a better way to go about things and i'm sure Devin booker will heed some of the things that chris paul's telling him i'm sure chris paul's told him a multitude of things but i mean it was a good he could he definitely could have threw the behind the back pass right here he definitely could have but it is what it is. I'm sure the next time this happens, he will learn from what Chris Paul told him and he'll throw the behind the back pass because gives it to Chris Paul and this puts Kendrick Nunn in a situation where he has to either go to Chris Paul or he goes to Jay Crowder and then say he say he comes up and Jimmy Butler goes out to the corner and then DeAndre Aiden's open. So it, it, would, it would result in way more opportunities for the Suns, but it is what it is, you know just one turnover now the last play i'm gonna show today is chris paul's mastery of the offensive side of the ball he just knows how to get people open right here so boom transition fast break brings the ball to the floor tells jay carter right here he tells him cut through cut through like slide through which basically makes duncan robinson and jimmy butler both come in and leaves cam johnson and michael bridges open Someone cutting through on a fast break. Teams believe that the playmaker is more prone to pass it to them because they'll be open going to the basket. Chris Paul uses that to his advantage. Tells Jay Carter to cut through kind of like a crash dummy, but he brings two people with him. Duncan Robinson and Jimmy Butler both go with him. Duncan Robinson's way too far out of the play. Cam Johnson already has the ball in his hands. Easy three. It put Duncan Robinson in between a rock and a hard place. He had to go on Jay Crowder. And if the ball didn't go to Jay Crowder, he had to play a, basically a zone in between Cam Johnson and Mikhail Bridges. Cam Johnson could either shoot the three, and if he came out on him, he'd pass it to Bridges for even more open three. But this time, Duncan Robinson guessed wrong, went to Mikhail Bridges. Cam Johnson was the one who kept the ball, pulled the shot, bang, easy three right there. Great read by Chris Paul in, in a matter of seconds. He could only make that read in a matter of seconds, and he made that read that quick. Now, although this is a small set of plays from a game that they just played against the Miami Heat, I believe Chris Paul's significance goes far further than just these four plays. I'm sure he does this every play. I'm sure he does this every play of every game. I just wanted to shed some light on how Chris Paul is helping the Suns as basically an on-court coach for the young team. And... He has them as the second best team in the West, so I'm sure what he's doing is working. And I'm glad to see that people are starting to show him more respect. 